Hey, what's up everybody? Hope you're having a good day. All right, let's do a quick tip today. So let's say that we have an object and we want it to be parented to something else. So we want this box to be parented to this conveyor belt. We wanna move it down and towards this robot. And then as soon as this robot arm grabs the box, we want that box to stop being parented to the conveyor belt and to start being parented to this piece right here, which is this face piece of that robot. So basically we want it to be parented to one thing and then to be parented to another thing. So how do we do that? The way that we're gonna do it is with a constraint tag. So we'll go to our box and we're gonna add a rigging tag constraint. And there's a bunch of different options in here, but one of the options is a parent. So if we check on the parent here, we are going to have targets. And target is actually just the word for parent. I wish they would have named these uh, parents because then it would be a bit more intuitive. But we have one parent here. So we can actually add more than one parent. And what we can do is keyframe between them. So we have two parents now. So for the first target, let's drag that conveyor belt. So now it will be attached to this conveyor belt. So we can see that, yep, it is sliding along with it. And let's go to the point where this robot kind of slams down and grabs the box right here. And let's just position our box exactly where we want it, something like that. All right, so we have this set up, but now we need it to switch parents right here so that it switches to that robot arm. So we're gonna go to this tag again and we're gonna add another parent tag. So we're going to go down and find that face and we're gonna drag it in here. All right, so now we have our two parents and at this point we want it to switch from one to the other. So let's go back one frame and now we have to use these two different options down here. So right here, if we click the little triangle, you can pick between the different parents. So we want the conveyor belt to be the first parent and then we wanna make a keyframe. So we're gonna click that and you can see that it makes a keyframe for all these targets and weights. Then what we wanna do is go down one frame and we wanna switch this from conveyor to that other one, which is the set face, which is part of that robot. And let's click record again and it's gonna set a keyframe for that. So basically we have just keyframed the uh, parent relationship of this object so that it goes from the conveyor belt over to the robot arm. And that is all you have to do to switch parents from one parent to the other. So super easy to do if you know about that constraint tag and you can add as many of these as you want and keyframe them. I hope you guys found that useful. By the way, this robot arm and conveyor belt is free. I'll put a link in the description below. You can grab it and download it. All right, hope you all learned something new. Thanks for checking out the Pixel Lab. We'll talk to you next time. Ciao.